Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm going to do today, I'll talk about user stories. Um, the user stories are very important, uh, in my opinion, um, from the certification point of view, as well as from a general uh, perspective, right? When, when you are in a project, and if you are a business analyst, you know very well the importance of the user stories, because the user stories will then transform. Um, so most of the requirements, right? Uh, get transferred into user stories, and that user stories get, uh, you know, picked up by a developer, and then in the testers will uh, test it based on the user story, right? So, and then the, finally, the end user will get to see uh, the product which they requested for, or you mean, or in other words, you know, the user stories will help you pinpoint the pain stories, prioritize the stories. Uh, prioritize the functionality and get it built. So I'm going to explain you in, in more so that make it interesting. Let's say, you know, you're working on a project, right? And could be any uh, could be any project. Um, say, I would say XYZ project, right? And that XYZ project has a requirement. Let's say the project is about the dental project, right? Uh, you wanted to build a, uh, say, for instance, you are actually looking to build a Salesforce implementation for a dental clinic, or a dental form, right? So the dental form has a lot of requirements, uh, like the customer information needs to be uploaded, and the patient visit, and the different kind of treatments they used to do, and based on the treatments, different kinds of pathways that needs to follow, right? You know, or like, you know, in dental surgery and all kind of stuff, right? So when a person has a dental surgery, normally you might have to build a pathway, including the recovery stage and, and the revisit, and what happened if someone has a uh, issue with the, uh, you know, bone, right? Uh, sorry, not the bone. Sorry, uh, say root, uh, root canal treatment, right? That's so. What happens when a person has root canal treatment? Treatment, the pathway, how the pathway should look like. So, as a business analyst, right, you a responsibility is to make those requirements into user stories. Let's say. Uh, a person needs to have a uh, to to have a surgery, right? A dental surgery. Okay, so you need to write down the requirement uh, of based on the pathway. So, person has a dental surgery. Then after that, person goes to uh, you know the care uh, where a person needs will be looked after uh, for after surgery kind of treatment uh, or after surgery care includes the pain medication and kind of stuff, and also includes a revisit. To check the person progress right so that the thing won't happen again uh, kind of things so if these things needs to be built in a software system in a say for instance in salesforce if you wanted to build a pathway in a salesforce right what happens when a person visits what happens when surgery happens how the task will, whether you want to create a task or whether you want to do other stuff right so if these things needs to be documented if these things needs to be built this needs to be converted into user stories the user stories are very important now the way you write stories that makes a lot of difference the stories should be like why you want to write it who the story for um uh, you know and the purpose of it so that's if, if you look at the straight ahead who what and why who the story for and what uh goal will be accomplished and why you want to do it right and so you need to factor the user persona into picture as well when you're writing the user stories, the user stories should be clear and precise so that it can be understood by a developer as well as a tester or an architect who's reviewing the story, right? As well as the end user as well. You, your story should be properly written. It shouldn't be, you know, sometimes, you know, you might have a issue where a developer will uh, look at the story and say, hey, this story is rubbish. So I can't understand a damn about it, right? It, it happens. It happened in my case as well. Whenever I'm building some solutions, sometimes the business analyst send me a requirement in the form of user stories, and I'm like, hey, what is this? I can't make a, I can't figure out what are you trying to say to me, right? If your user stories struggle on that context, then it's a window of opportunity to improve it, right? I, I do get it, right? You know, it's not always possible to get the stories right in the first time. It involves, it's, you know, iteration process where you will involve your uh, leads to review your story before you send to a development team or, or to an architect or whoever it is, right? Depending upon the process you have in your company. Now, 
if your user stories right actually reflect what the user wants then the developer will be able to relate the story you know they wanted to build otherwise what will happen you're going to convey a message and developer will understand something else and the stories will get built and the testers will try to figure out what exactly the user stories is all about they will get a different meaning out of it and when the, finally the user review the product they will say hey this is not something i asked for it's something entirely different so the business analyst plays a very important role that's why i personally believe that it's very important a business analyst should be very good in writing user stories everyone say they can write user stories but it's not the case i personally have worked with so many business analysts some of them are exceptionally talented some of them are pretty mm, average below average i would say so you know because some of them didn't want it, didn't have any passion to business analysts they got into business analysts assuming they could do it but unfortunately they were not able to um and some of them are extremely passionate they you know you can read you can make out from the user stories you know the perfect stories they write i mean though there is nothing called perfect i mean i would say near perfect stories which makes sense which relates the you know actual problem they're trying to say solve and for who they're trying to solve all this will be captured right if you can't do that then it's it's not a good story right so that's why it's very important to write uh user stories when you write a user stories remember this who what and why three w's you need to remember it that's the key to write a good user story yeah okay now let me get into constructing a user story i i briefly discussed a few minutes ago about it um you know constructing a user story so the successful user story can be measured it's independent it's negotiable like a user story is not a contract story is an invitation to conversation it captures the sense not the details right the user story needs to be useful to the end user this is very important right you can't write a user story then when end user reads it and say hey i'm not very technical i don't understand what you're trying to convey what is this right if if you arrive to that kind of conversation that means your user story needs to be changed yeah um if the user story doesn't have a value then it shouldn't be created some people create because they wanted to tick the box right they say oh at least i can show i'm doing some work that's not good that's absolutely not good that's rubbish in my opinion the user story should only be created if it's ad i really believe we are right everything will be measured I have a user story when it comes to dev team uh, you know an architect or developer should be able to estimate how long it takes to build if they can then it's a problem with the story right uh, and the user story day story right but beyond another story have lots of
Yeah, if that's clear. So, Right, and the money is I'm providing you the story. First of all, comment 